Hi everyone and good morning. I'm Chanel and I am a Stamping Up demonstrator and I am here today with another gorgeous, gorgeous card from our lovely um, new mini um, catalogue and I am going to be doing one from the um, from the catalogue. Hi Ginny, um, as there are so many fantastic ideas in your catalogue so you know don't forget to to look in your catalogues because there are some really good ideas. Now this one is a step it up project. I'm going to just do the one kind of in the middle um, but this is brilliant because it shows you how you can have a very simplified card and then step it up. So we're going to do the one in the middle. Okay, so that's the card that we're going to be doing. And we are using the Nuts About Squirrels, which is just a very super, super cute um, uh, stamp set. It is really adorable. And I just had to have it. I like the cutesy, cutesy ones. Um, hi, Judith, honey. So, yes, that's what we're going to be doing. All of the products are on the bottom of the screen. There are obviously a few other bits, but I didn't want to bombard you with all of them. Oh, dear. Me, sorry, I keep knocking that and I don't know why. Bear with me. I think I know why. That's being knocked. Let me see if I can not keep knocking my camera. Who was looking at that one on my wish list? Oh, bless you. It is super cute and it's really easy to do as well. Right, I have got a guillotine under my table that keeps knocking me. Right, okay, so we're going to do this card. We're going to be using the Nuts About Squirrels um, stamp set and we're using Regal's cardstock, which you can find them across the bottom of the screen. Um, so what we're doing is we are using Cajun Craze. Oh, and I've lost a bit of card. Probably with my measurements on as well. Oh, where's it gone? Right, I have actually lost... A piece of card. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Right. Yes. Okay. Right. We have Cajun Craze cardstock, which is um, oh my gosh, eight and a quarter by five and a half, scored at four and one eighth. Then we have a piece of basic white, which is four by five and three eighths. That's for the inside. And then we have another piece of basic white, which is three and a half by five and one eighth. And I've just realized that I have actually gone and made a mark on my cardstock by writing with a pencil. So let me just see. I have another piece here, which I think I've already cut. Um, and we are doing this in our card class, Ginny. Um, so, yes, it's a great one. How did I know? Right. So this is three and a half by five and one eight. Then we have a piece of. Um, oh, my gosh. Pear pizzazz. And this is four and one eighth by four. OK, now when you are putting this on the card, because there is only one eighth of an inch, you need to be careful when you're putting it on. Um, but. You can either use the just cardstock or I did pull out some of our DSP from last year. Um, so I thought I might just use that. So that's the same measurements, four and one eighths by four. But you can just, um, you know, use the cardstock. And actually in the catalogue, they have actually um, embossed it with this gorgeous embossing folder here, which I'm not sure what name it is now. Um, I know. Terrible. So many to remember. Where is it? Where's the embossing folders? Right. So that is not in here. This must be in the main catalogue, I think. I'm not sure. Right. OK. Don't know. But any embossing folder would look good. See, I'm really not prepared. I thought I was. So I'm going to use the DSP anyway, just so that it just pops it up a little bit. So four by four and one eighth. And then you will need a bit a strip of crushed curry. And this is one inches. Um, and I just leave it on a strip because I find it easier to do the banner. Right. OK, I think that is it. Now we've got to get on with the stamping. Right. So let me bring in my. Um, I do need a scrap bit of paper. Gosh, my chair is creaking. Like, oh, can you hear that? It's awful. Really, really awful. Right, let me just get a piece of... Darn it, darn it, darn it. Ooh. 
I'll bear with me a second. I'm just getting a piece of right, that will do. Just going to use a scrap piece of paper just so that it's under my mat. Right, okay. So we're going to bring in the front piece, which you now cannot see. This is my old wish list for something. I'm just going to use this. Anywho, anywho, can't see it then, can we? No, right, ignore me. Oh, I'm having a bit of a flap. Oh, bless you. All right, my darling. See you later. Right, let me just get a bit of this. I just thought you might be able to see better with this underneath. Right, that's better. That's better. You couldn't see it on the white background. Oh, my gosh, I have. Bits and pieces everywhere. Hi, Karen, honey. Right, okay, so what we're going to do first is with the Memento Black, we're going to do all of our um, outlines of our squirrels because all of the stamps have got an outline, then a, um, a colour one, what you do the inside. So these are the um, Outlines, outlines, why can I not get my words out today? Right, so I'm going to just start with stamping one of the squirrels on the bottom. He's easy to do. I'm just going to pop him down like that. Just like that, just like that. And then we've got the outline of the other squirrel, and he's going to come off the page very slightly, or the um, mat very slightly. So we're going to do him and we're going to have him now. I just need to see how far that branch comes out because I don't want to. So the branch comes out to about there. So we want him sitting on the branch. So we're going to have him about ooh, there. If not, we'll just get our pen and we'll draw in a bit. And then we've got the branch here. And we are going to, I am my darling, thank you. I am feeling a lot better. Right, as you can see, I have fluffed it a little bit. But do not panic, we can come in. Oh, look at that, we've overshot, we've overshot it. Right, let me grab my, oh, stamp and write marker. And if you do that, all I'm going to do is just literally come in here and just do another little bit, look, like that. And then just come in and see, you can fix it. There you go. And you would never know. You'd never know me, boo-boo. Oh, except, look, he's floating in the sky. Oh, I really, really fluffed that one up, didn't I? do another branch there you go look <laughs> i made another branch right it's because i can't get my head over the camera i'm going to blame that on that right okay see it's easy to fix right now we're going to take the um little bit of the leaf the inside bit of the leaf the leaves i should say and I'm going to do this, so we're going to have one here, one here, and one here. There you go, that's the inside of the leaf. And then all that's left to do is to colour it all in. We might as well, while I've got my black out, come in and do my banner, my sentiment piece. Are you having a nice holiday? And then, right, all we're going to do is just put this on here, about there, like that. And we're going to turn that into a banner in a minute. Right, okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to colour in the um, bottom squirrel in crumb cake. So let me just find this. Oh, 
and we're going to try our hardest to right, i'm going to take that off just for a second because it's bugging me um I think I've not quite got it, but as you can see, if that happens, look, it is hard when you're filming. That's going to be my excuse, but you can just come in with your your stamp and write uh, markers or your blenders, um, or you can just get a um, uh, what they're called a water brush. Oh my gosh! Oh, my brain isn't working today. Right. There you go. So it's easy to be fixed. Trust me. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to do the acorn bottom bit in crumb cake as well, wherever it might be. So we're just going to do the bottom of the acorn in crumb cake. And again, I have missed. So I've got soft suede as well here. So what I'm going to do now um you know you can color in some of these bits it doesn't it's not biggie there is a um infill for the top part of the acorn but you could just get your stamp and write markers if you wanted to i'm going to do it with the stamps just because i want to challenge myself uh i'll oh, see look Oh my gosh, I am not doing very good today, am I? There you go. <laughs> doing very good. I'm not doing very good. Right, okay, don't worry. I'm going to use pumpkin pie for the top squirrel. And this is going to be a, oh look I've done the bottom one top squirrel you can you tell it's early in the morning by any chance right let's try and get him oh have I got him right oh look Nearly. Not the end of the world. There you go. He looks perfect now. Right. And then we are going to do the um, leaves in crushed curry and there's a infill one for the crushed for the leaf so we're going to just do this oh and i'm blooming missed am i oh my gosh there you go sorted because they're photopolymer you can see if you do boobies Still looking good, right? That looks grey, doesn't it, on the camera? It is actually crumb cake. Um, then we have cinnamon cider. No, I didn't want cinnamon cider. I am going to use um, Cajun craze. Sorry. I'm going to do Cajun craze. like a soul and then the last one we are going to do in pear pizzazz so we're using all of the regals here which I do like the regals. There you go. Oh my gosh. Look what I've done. Why did nobody say that to me? <laughs> I think I'm going to stop this video and start again.
oh my god why did nobody tell me i was putting oh i'm gonna have to hide oh dear goodness me right you know what i'm so sorry everybody i'm you know what last time i did it last flipping egg you know what you're gonna have to sit through and watch me do all that again <laughs> nobody told me my gosh, right, we're going to have to, right, three and a half by five and one eighth, right, please don't laugh at me, oh my gosh, everyone's going to be going, oh my gosh, a stamping up demonstrator, oh my gosh, she makes so many mistakes, <laughs> Eva, I go right, nobody told me I was doing the leaves at the bottom of the flipping things, Oh my gosh, now I've got to go again with everything. Right. It's fine. What have I done? <laughs> oh, that was the inside of the leaves. Look, it was supposed to look like that. Look, that's what it was supposed to look like. So I could actually just go, oh, look, I've done it right, rather than you watch me do it all again. Nobody even told me. It's fine. Practice makes perfect. That's what I say. Practice makes perfect. I just realised. Oh, you know what? Last time I did it the other way around. I did the leaves first and then I did it. Right, let's see if we can get the thingy on the branch. Let's tell you what, let's do the branch first, shall we? And that one then, we can sit him right on top. So we're going to have this coming out like that. And hope that we have enough room to fit the squirrel on. That's better. Look, see, this is a practice run, you see. So now you can... Get him sitting right on top of it. There you go. Near enough. He's kind of falling off the top one, but never mind. Right, okay. Oh, my gosh. I just put my finger in the ink. Righty, righty. Let's see if we can do it properly this time. See, practice makes perfect, though. There you go. So do the branch first is what I would say because actually it probably is um, easier to do that. I'm going to use my stamp and write markers straight off the bat to colour these in. Okay. So yes, I do it all the time. You see, you don't realise, but I actually do it on purpose. I do it on purpose just to show you what not to do. Yep. But it's good that way, isn't it? Do not do this. Do not do this. Right, so we're going to go over the leaves this time. Like that. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. It's done on purpose, really, just so that you know what not to do. I'm good like that, you see. Right. Please don't make any more mistakes, Chanel. I can't cope. Right, what colour haven't we got? I did the leaves first while I was thinking about it so that I didn't do that same boo-boo again. There you go. See how much easier it is when you know how to do it. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm only human and I'm, you know, these stamp sets are new to me too. So <clears throat> that's my excuse, is that, you know, they're new. Oh, 
Look, I've done it again with the wrong squirrel. Right, let's see if we can get him <clears throat> right. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for coughing down the camera. Did we get it spot on? Oh, look at him. See, practice makes perfect. Oh, my gosh. That is good. Now I have to wash this one because I've got the wrong colour on him. Right. Practice does make perfect, see? How much quicker I did that one. Much quicker. Much, much quicker. Oh, oh look. See? Perfection. Right, have we done everything? Yes, we have. Right, okay. Oh, my gosh. Okie dokie. So, I think what I'm going to do as well, I think I am going to put a little squirrel in the middle of the card because I think... It's a lot of blank space to have nothing. So I think I'm going to do this little man just in the inside. Like so. I think we're just going to put him there. What sentiments do we have? Right, we have um, nuts about you. Hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. Happy birthday. Hey there. So I think I'll put hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed in the inside. I think you'll have to add it to your list. It's gorgeous. I love regals. I love the colour regals as well. Right. Let's put this sentiment on the block. Big hugs to our lovely Janet as well. Um, bless her. She had a bit of an accident yesterday. Bless her. I'm sure she doesn't mind me telling you all. Um, bless her. So she may not be around for a few weeks. Bless her. So lots and lots of love to you, Janet, if you're watching. Hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um. And then we need the, I've got a little bit of something on my, got it off, got it off. All right, what we're doing, what we're doing, Chanel, what we're doing, what we're doing inside of the squirrel. And we are going to. Oh, I badly missed. I badly missed on that. What happened? Never mind. Not the end of the world. There you go. He still looks good. Just, that won't matter in a minute. Right, because that's going to be the same colour anyway. Right, okay, okay. And then we're going home. There you go. Right, let's get all this put together. Move that out of the way. Put that there. Get the card in here. Let's get me. I'm going to be lazy today and I'm using my stamp and seal. So don't see me pop that down like so. Let's 
that. And then don't forget your piece that you've got on your front is four and one eighths by four. So make sure that you, it doesn't really matter if you put it on that way, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, so we're just going to put that down. I might have to just trim it a little bit. Right, I'm just going to put that down to there. And if you have, if you're a fraction over, you can just come in and just trim this up. There was a little fraction of a, a bit there. Right, and then this is going to go on there like that oh, isn't that look at it when you put it together it's just like omg look at this card i love it and then oh i do love this card and then what we're going to do with our little yellow bit here, we've got our pick a punch, um, banner punch, and we're going to use the tail end sort of one. Is that what you call it, fish tail? I'm just going to pop that in like so. And then just give that a snip like that. There you go. And we're going to put that there. And we're going to just put a couple of little um, our matte decorative dots, which are just super, super cute. And as you'll see in the catalogue, oops, there, this one doesn't have any of the dots on, but I'm actually going to put some on because <clears throat> I like it a lot. Right. Uh, let's put that on dimensionals. Hi, Judith, honey. She's back. She's on back. Right, let's put. Oh my gosh, my stomach is grumbling. I've really not eaten much the last couple of days because I've had a bit of a tummy bug. So yeah, I'm starving. But you've got to be careful what you eat, aren't you? Right, okie dokie. So we're going to just pop that down there. Like that. Nuts about you. And then we're just going to get some of our matte decorative dots. And these are in the um, colors are these in. Well, it looks to me like they are in. Um, they look regal, but that's not. I think that's it's regals. They do look like they're in regals. See, I'm learning. <laughs> you think I'd know, wouldn't you? I have to challenge myself now to see. They do look like regals. Where are they in the book? I will tell you what colours they are in. Does not say what colour they are, but they look like they have regals in them. Does not say. Looks like pear pizzazz. That looks like soft succulent though. But we're going to use this one here anyway. Um, oh, my goodness me. And I'm just going to put a couple of these. Oh, actually, no, not them ones. What am I doing, Chanel? You want them to match your card. Div, div there you go oh my gosh i love them love this card isn't that just super cute i love it and then you've got your little squirrel on the inside so nuts about you hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed 
Isn't that just a gorgeous, gorgeous card? It's so scrumptious, I could eat it. Right, there's your card. Sorry, there was a little bit of a um, technical problem, I should say. Um, I'm the technical problem. But no, um, in all honesty, it is something that can be sorted out. And I just did it just really just to show you how to fluff up and how to get it right. But it is practice, if I'm honest. There is a little bit of practice to go in this card. But it is a super cute card. Once you get the hang of it, it's lovely. Look. See, wouldn't you just love to receive that card? Right, <clears throat> my lovelies, I'm off. Um, oh, dear goodness me, I don't even know what I've got to do today now. Um, so I'm just doing my workshop card kit. So, yes, these are for our workshop on Friday, Ginny. So I'm going to have to make sure I bring spares um, because I know what we're all like. Right, okay. I will be back. Um, I don't know what day it is. I'm sure I'll be around later today or tomorrow, maybe. Not quite sure. Um, so take care for now, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Don't forget, um, if you do want to order, the item numbers are on the bottom of the screen. And please don't forget to use the host code um, so that you get your free gift when you order. And also, just wanted to mention that... Um, the celebration items they are only while stocks last so if there is a celebration item that you're really really wanting you don't want to miss out you know some things will go quicker than others i.e i think the glitter paper um and the sheep um but they are till stocks last so they're not guaranteed that you can get them forever so if you are wanting any of those from the celebration um little book then um, I wouldn't waste your time. Um, waste, wait, I wouldn't wait. Oh my God, not, I wouldn't waste your time. I wouldn't wait. Oh, I'm going, I'm going before I, I think I need to lie down. I've been up since four this morning. Right, <coughs> right, lovelies, take care. Wednesday today, Han, thank you for a fun demo. Yes, it's Wednesday today, so I've still got tomorrow, so I will be around either later today or tomorrow. Right, take care for now. Have a lovely, lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.